Hi Libra, welcome back to I Enigma. This is Enigma. I'm gonna be doing a general reading. Let's see the messages for you for August bonus. Let's see bonus messages 2024. <clears throat> this is for Sun Moon Rising or Venus signs and Libra. Close to watches. Okay. If you want to go for a more accurate private readings available on WhatsApp, Instagram, or email, you can reach out to me on the following for spells as well completely white spells spiritual spells and i also have intention charge high vibrational purest crystals for you and uh, check out my instagram for all the feedbacks at ionigma.in don't forget to follow me there to stay connected and you can get all the details for reaching out to me in the description box under this video let's see libra sun moon rising or venus sign and cross watchers okay mm. all right the hermit the page of wands the nine of pentacles ace of swords three of cups You have a lot of options in front of you there's someone younger that is interested in you as well but you're wondering should i focus on some more options and not focus on just one person someone wants to grab your attention okay this could be a friend of yours this person is very interested they could be uh, rich successful good looking but younger than you or less successful than you <clears throat> they've been thinking about you and they've been asking for a relationship but you want to take your time, Libra. Okay? You're not sure. For some of you, it's the age difference. Or you feel you guys are not comparable. Okay? Or there's a third party including uh, included over here. There's this third party involvement over here. <clears throat> you could be dealing with a Virgo, with a Cancer. Yeah, I'm seeing some cheating going on in your life and you're not focusing on this person that much because you're very upset with someone in your life that is cheating on you <clears throat> or recently you have been cheated upon by someone i feel this person keeps a continuous watch on you and is wanting to propose you wanting to come towards you at least get to know you because their interest is there <clears throat> so they want to make a proposal here but they're wondering about what is happening. Why are you not opening up to them? You must be upset about something, Libra. Recently something happened. Someone said something. So you're overtly thinking about someone. And you're not right now much ready to give this person that kind of attention that they're seeking. But someone is deeply interested. And if, I feel like because they keep thinking about you nonstop, they're becoming more emotional towards you. Emotions are very strong. They want a new beginning with you. All right. <clears throat> okay. So then we have the Queen of Pentacles. We have the Tower. And we have the Emperor. Dicey messages. <clears throat> What has happened with you, Libra, recently? <clears throat> yes, there was a breakup with someone that was playing games with you, on and off with you. This person could have been younger or very childish in their actions and that has given you uh, mental stress, Libra. So you're trying to get out of that situation. I'm also seeing that there are family matters involved here, which is not helping you uh, positively. I feel like maybe there is some uh, fight going on with parents, with uh, uh, an older male, okay, or someone at your home is very sick, or some of you going through financial shortage, or you want to leave your home, or there was a breakup. So all of that is causing you a lot of stress and you don't have much time for love over here. But there's someone that is sitting there waiting for you, you know, to pay attention on them so that they can take things forward.
Please clarify the messages. Ten of Cups. The Four of Pentacles. Someone is not ready to leave their marriage. Okay. So Libra, you could be in a tough marriage. Or this person is in a tough marriage. I feel it's you that is in a... Um, controlling marriage controlling family controlling relationship you're not ready to leave or they don't want you to go but there is a new love offer that's coming into your life that seems very exciting promising for you and i'm also seeing libra you're very focused on your money on your pentacles so you might lose your money this is also what you feel might lose your job as well or the inheritance money so you're somewhere stuck you want to get rid of a narcissistic um controlling people around you or narcissistic controlling house home environment nine of pentacles universe wants to tell you to take a leap of faith let go because money is gonna come back around to you and a new relationship will be formed in your life in the near future. Someone that's coming towards you, someone new, is very interested and feels emotions, strong emotions towards you. Your money won't be affected, your job won't be affected, your career won't be affected. I'm rather seeing you growing here. <clears throat> I'm also seeing a happy family, a happy ending. Feeling of satisfaction, joy crossroads yes you're in a crossroads you're stuck with something you want to get rid of but you can't get rid of because either you have emotions attached to them or money is the uh, reason property is the reason children could be the reason yeah someone is feeling blocked and wants to break free from that cage and start afresh it's because you're dealing with someone that is not letting go of their ego. This person is very egoistic, whoever this is you're dealing with. You want to get rid of an egoistic person. Maybe this is a Virgo, Cancer, Aries, very strongly Aries person, very egoistic, aggressive person. You want to get rid of that person. But you have children involved or they're your parents and you can't leave them. Or you have children that you want to give them the happy, you know, family or property and you're stuck. You're like, what do I do? I have, I'm in crossroads. I'm, I'm stuck. I, I can't take uh, my own decision. Mm. Yes. Because if you take a decision, there are other people involved in, in the situation. And you don't want to... Uh, affect other people and their energy so you're feeling quite emotional right now but there is this hidden power inside of you the strength inside of you that will outgrow your fears and you will finally make a decision for your self-respect and for your goodness sake for your happiness sake for your peace and self-respect i'm seeing you are gaining your energy is gaining momentum you're becoming more solid now your emotions are coming back on place to balance you're gonna come out of this caged uh, situation very soon bring love into the situation don't let your past hold your back hold you back i feel you have to choose between love and you have to choose between responsibility if there is no love you can leave the situation you don't have to hold on to this because you expect someone to change because you feel like that is your responsibility but you're not getting love and respect you can leave that situation because you need to bring love into uh, your life whatever situation you're in if you're not feeling loved you need to let go because someone definitely is coming in with an offer of love here it's time to release negativity. Maybe a Scorpio person, aggressive, negative, controlling person. You need to release that person or that situation because a new romance, see, that's clear. 
a new romantic cycle is beginning someone new is around you libra you have to listen open your ears open your eyes open your mind there's someone that is out there offering you a new relationship a new balanced full-fledged long-term relationship because you're dealing with someone that gave you false promises their dishonesty is appearing clearly appearing on you you can see this person is dishonest you can see their real face so someone that is not honest you need to let go of maybe you have children with this person so you're like no i can't leave this person but are you happy with them playfulness this might be a specific read not for all you you feel like you've lost that playful side that fun side of yours because of this reason and you have developed trust issues and you miss the time from the past you miss your old childhood friends childhood memories childhood relationships your family the times that you had a lot of trust around you but I feel you're going to get back into that zone. You'll realize that I have to be a child all, all over again. I have to feel like a kid all over again. I have to feel happy. I have to feel uh, optimistic. Then only will I attract someone that I can trust. Yeah, I get that. I feel the new person that could be slightly younger or more childish. I feel the person that is coming towards you is bringing a lot of trust and optimism and playful energy back in your life. This could be your childhood friend as well. Yes, getting to know each other. You guys are going to date. Yes, and that will heal your personal life. That will heal your family. That will heal the people around you that care for you. You'll feel more happier. Unfinished symphony, yes. Something that you're dragging with you, something that you're carrying with you that is still affecting you, draining you emotionally. You're not, you're not closing the chapter. You need closure. And until you don't close it, you won't be able to clean up the past, the clean, uh, clean up the hurt that you're carrying within you. So once you close the chapter, I feel you're going to close it. You're going to clean it all up and then you're going to move to the next phase in your life. So in short, if I had to tell you, the says start afresh. Okay, start afresh. Okay, advice. Your prayers will be answered. God has written something special for you, is going to do this for you. I'm seeing your biggest wish, your dreams and desires are coming true. And stay natural, stay authentic because your real natural side is what people are going to love and enjoy. You don't have to change yourself for anyone. If someone is saying, oh, change your nose or change your eyes or stuff like that or your eye color is not cool or you're too fat or you're too skinny, or you need to change your way of expressing yourself. Do not. Just stay who you are because you're in the wrong company then. It's not you. It's the other person's fault. Okay. No two flowers. Yes. I feel you'll realize everybody is different. And you don't have to find a flaw in you or anyone else. But I'm seeing someone new that's coming into your life. is way too different from your expectations. You both are like very different in your approach towards life. But yet feel beautiful towards each other yes love is already there don't feel like love is gone it's still there that music love is gone it's coming in my mind community you will meet this person this new person either in your society in your neighborhood or in the social setup in the place where you keep going okay where you meet a lot of people over there you will be meeting this person I feel like you guys can meet this person in a spiritual place as well where both of you are going to meditation, yoga or you will be introduced to this person through a friend circle, through your friends like that, okay? All right, what else? I'm also seeing one more thing. I feel you will learn to accept people just the way they are because you're living in one community, in one um, place where you all have to deal with each other, okay? And you're understanding, you're learning that everybody is different. You have to adjust, okay? A part of you is learning to adjust as well. 
and i'm seeing that love definitely is there within you everything is still good but not trying to change things is the best way to go change people okay blossom you will be blossoming in the toughest most situation also because you have confidence you have power and you spend a lot of time in nature which is really making you feel more grounded so do grounding activities more grounding activities and self-care i'm seeing you feeling emotionally balanced and in control of your life what is the challenge that you need to face and surpass honesty be honest okay you may have difficulty saying the truth because you feel like people will doubt you people will um judge you just be honest okay don't doubt say it on on their face be confident enough to face the consequences because truth does not create um uh, entangling situations truth rather sort out long term troubles and balances things out so i feel now you may have difficulty expressing yourself with honesty express yourself with honesty even if it's something that a person another person would not like it maybe it's not right as well i'm not saying you to be right i'm saying you to be honest what else libra playfulness laughter is the best therapy have some fun yes again we got the playfulness card we got the playfulness i feel you just have to be a child all over again just enjoy have some fun keep uh energy light hearted because love is the greatest healer nothing can heal you but love if someone is giving you love if you're receiving love from any specific place or you know energy embrace it laugh it out loud ignore the challenging situations the challenging surroundings and people go towards places that make you feel more light hearted laugh it out loud okay love is the greatest healer i'm also seeing this new love that's coming into your life will help you get back to your you know truest most personality and be you will become more playful you will become more uh happier and you'll stop taking stress about you know little things you will stop being too serious about things yeah i'm seeing that change okay what are the signs we'll be dealing with leo capricorn virgo sun moon rising or venus now is the lucky time you're definitely going towards a beautiful life changing experience the luck is on your side so keep doing what you're doing and you will get a lot of love from wherever you go overcome any obstacle you're going to easily overcome any obstacles that's how the changes are taking place dream the world into being whatever you want to manifest just start visualizing it first give with gratitude be very giving and be thankful for whatever universe has offered you because that will create a beautiful playful energy around you bringing more uh, exciting stuff in your life be generous be kind be loving and be caring towards others be honest yes be fearless and bold means be honest be truthful and right out on face Okay, let me see about this new love. This new love, how things are going to roll between you guys. Yes. I feel very soon you guys will get attracted, attached to each other for long term. Yes. I'm seeing this is going to happen randomly. You guys will take this random decision of being with this person. But I'm seeing you guys will make a very good deep friendship with each other. You guys will share your deepest secrets and help each other. you might not even be in a relationship maybe you're going to take keep this relationship mysterious but i'm seeing there will be lot of love and respect okay and uh, this person will do a lot of things for you they'll take care of you they'll help you they'll guide you they'll support you could be an aquarius as well so that's about it i hope you've enjoyed this wonderful reading thank you for your time please do like share comment and subscribe libra 
And for personal readings, check out the description box under this video. Bye.